हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू डे नाइन्थ ऑफ जनवरी लीड कोड चैलेंज ऑल दो आई मिस टू ऑफ द वीडियोस इन द पास्ट एंड आई एम कवरिंग अप फॉर इट टुडे डे सेवेंथ क्वेश्चन इज लॉन्गेस्ट सब स्ट्रिंग विदाउट रिपीटिंग कैरेक्टर्स एट द नेम सेज यू नीड टू आइडेंटिफाई द लॉन्गेस्ट सब स्ट्रिंग इन अ गिवन स्ट्रिंग विद नो रेपिटेशन ऑफ कैरेक्टर्स हैपनिंग लेट्स वॉक थ्रू द एग्जाम्पल गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन यू अगेन ए बी सी Uh, C A B C B B. So there are multiple instances uh, of the longest substring without repeating characters. One is A B C, other one is uh, B C A. Then you have C A B. Then you have A B C again, and so on. So you need to check the longest substring where there is no repetition of characters happening. The answer is C in this case. In this part, it's all B's. So the longest substring is of single character, and you have. P W W K E W. The longest substring is uh, W K E, and its length is three. For the length zero, the output is zero. Let's walk quickly. Walk through the uh, slideshow that I have created for this. So let me just take a pen. We'll use a, a two pointer approach to solve this question, and we'll be solving this in linear time. How are we going to do this? Uh, we will take two pointers. One is the start pointer, and one is the iterating pointer, which also uh, is known as the end pointer, or because it will eventually reach the end uh, before then the start. So you have an iterating pointer, you have an a start pointer, and you and you create a map uh, where you store the frequencies of each element uh, that you have encountered uh, in the string so far. So we got a, we added uh, a in the map, and the frequency is one. you move ahead you got b you add it in the map and you also check at each step uh, whether there is repetition or not also uh, you calculate its current length uh, which is uh, st i minus start plus 1 so i minus start plus 1 gives you the current length and we are sure that there is no repetition you again move ahead i minus start plus current length here i minus start plus current length is 2 minus 0 plus 1 is 3 maximum would turn out to be 3 i i have taken a global variable max which keep track of the maximum uh, longest uh, string witness so far with non repeating characters and the frequency is over all three elements is 111 11. then you encounter a again so as soon as you encounter a you increment its frequency to 2 and what you observe that the frequency turns out to be greater than 1 and what you need to do You need to increment s till the time the frequency effect is nullified. So frequency of a becomes greater than one. Move start till the time frequency doesn't become equal to less than or equal equal to one. So you'll keep on iterating s till the time the frequency doesn't go of the of a character doesn't go down. Since it happened to be the at the first place, uh, you move s one pointer forward. Something like this, and the frequency turns out reduces by one. uh the longest length is 3 uh 3 minus 1 plus 1 is 3 again maximum was 3 no change move ahead you got four you got b again you updated the frequency to 2 and uh, you see that uh the frequency of 2 becomes greater than 1 uh, again start iterating s till the time it doesn't nullify or reduces to 1 so it happened to be at the fourth place itself so you reduce it to 1 here uh, the maximum still remains 3 you move ahead 4 minus 2 plus 1 is again 3 you move ahead and you witnessed uh, c here uh, so c you incremented the frequency to 2 uh, move a c ahead till the time you don't reduce the frequency of c uh, simple enough maximum still remains 3 and then you got a uh, then you move ahead Uh, then you witnessed b and the frequency of b increases to 2 this is an interesting part so you'll keep on incrementing till the time the frequency doesn't reduce by 1 so you you move s by one place as you move ahead reduce the frequency and uh, you witnessed b uh, so you reduce the frequency again and you move to s move to this position as in this case so you got uh, this substring uh, Six minus five plus one gives me two, and since it is lower than this, there is no change. And the final one is this one where uh, you uh, the uh, 
the start was pointing to this position the frequency got updated to 2 i think the frequency gets updated to 2 uh, so this is the position and since uh, there is a repetition you keep on reducing b moves to the end of it and this is the last one so the maximum value that you witnessed along this approach is uh, 3 i'll rediscuss what we are doing in this question whenever uh, we are moving s pointer uh, ahead we are reducing the frequency whenever moving i pointer ahead we are increasing the frequency and we keep on moving ahead the s pointer till we don't uh, witness till we till the frequency of the, the element that became greater than one reduces to one back or zero either of the case uh, let's quickly code this up let me just take two pointers here integer start equals to zero and integer i that will be an iterating pointer let me just take a frequency array uh, the frequency array will be of uh, 26 characters because uh, I'm, uh, I'm sure that uh, the numbers are all in lower case although I'm not sure uh, it can English symbol S can contain anything so I'll take 256 characters um, and let's iterate so while i is less than s dot length what you are going to do you will extract the the index of ith character uh, that is to be mapped in the frequency i uh, index equals to s dot char at i and once you have that i index you will update its frequency i index so you updated its frequency and uh, also we need to take two variables one is max length equals to zero and uh, while frequency of i index is greater than one till the time it is greater than one we keep on moving the s pointer so let's extract the start index and start index is s dot car at s start uh, frequency of s s index minus minus and start plus plus and let's uh, calculate the current length integer current length equals to start uh, i minus start plus one and max length equals to max dot max current length comma so max length and let's I move i ahead in the loop that's it this is a standard way of writing uh, the algorithm uh, using the two pointer approach and we, at the end we'll return max length you can use set instead of the frequency array no issues with that because we are only concerned about the single frequency not higher one i think i missed made a mistake somewhere while frequency of i index again a typo Sorry for that. It passed. And let me just submit the code. Uh, what is the time complexity of this approach? The time complexity is order of n. You are iterating uh, the list once. And space complexity is of constant space because you are using an array of 256 characters. Uh, you can use a, use a set here instead of, or a map, whatever you like. Uh, it's up to you uh, this is uh, i have taken a frequency array because it is faster than the map or a set because you'll be removing it from the map and from the set if you're using those thanks for watching the video hope you and you enjoyed it